Hey guys, welcome back to Griffin's Gaming Guides. Today we're going to go after another Season 3 DLC trophy in Grid, Flights to Catch. We need to complete the Flights to Catch objective. Now in order to complete the Flights to Catch objective, you need to get the Koenigsegg Jesko around the Suzuka Circuit East course in 41.8 seconds or less. So in order to be able to attempt this one, I recommend you go into free play from the main menu and then choose the following settings. You want the discipline as race, the vehicle category as seasons, the vehicle class as track day hypercar, the grid size and number of rounds as one, the track as Suzuka circuit, the route as east course and the laps as two. Now for me, like I always do, I'll set the weather as well to overcast just to avoid any sort of glare from the sun. If you don't want to go overcast, just choose any other settings that aren't rain as this one's difficult enough without trying to attempt it on a wet track, which is damn near impossible. Now, the Suzuka East Circuit is 1.39 miles long, and like I say, you've got less than 42 seconds in order to be able to get the Jesco around it, which is, to be honest, a fairly tall order. Now, for me, I managed to unlock my trophy, keeping the Jesco at stock settings on the tune-in, and then having ABS at two, traction control at three, and stability control at four. And then it's a simple case of practice, practice, practice. Go for your fastest racing line. Having your racing line on in the settings will help a great deal in this one. Try and stay away from the brake as you go around this course as much as you can. I know it's going to be very tempting as there are a lot of kind of left, right, left corners that you're going to have to do. As well as a nasty tight turn on the final corner on the course. But by not braking and just simply using your handbrake, you're able to maintain a much greater racing line. More importantly, you can keep your speed up. Now, use lap one as a sighting lap, like we always do for these objectives in grid. And then use lap two as kind of like your power lap, where you want to lay down a good time. And there's no real way around it. Obviously, 41.8 seconds or under is a very tight time in order to be able to get such a twitchy car around quite a technical course, really. Although it's got a long straight on it, these corners that you see me go over now they tighten up quite a bit as you're going around them, given the power of the Jesco. But either way, as soon as you cross the finishing line in 41.8 or under, your trophy or achievement will then unlock. Good luck with this one. So then guys, I'd just like to say thank you very much for watching. If you like what you see, please hit the like button. Let me know down in the comment section how you're getting on with the flights to catch objective. Please ensure you subscribe to Griffin's Gaming Guides. After you subscribe, please hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our future content. I'll see you on the next one. Take care.